Welcome to the short video on writing a delay program in assembly language for 8051 microcontroller. Each instructions in any program consumes definite machine cycles. And each machine cycle will be the part of the crystal oscillator frequency pulses. Then definitely each machine cycle takes a definite amount of time and the time consumed by one machine cycle or any number of machine cycle is given by the formula time delay here. Time delay is equal to 12 into the number of machine cycles divided by the F oscillator. F oscillator can be of the valid range. F oscillator, if we take it to be equal to say 12 megahertz, 12 megahertz in the sense 12 into 10 to the power of plus 6 hertz. Then time taken for one machine cycle, okay, time taken for one machine cycle is given by 12 into 1 machine cycle divided by f oscillator is equal to 12 megahertz which is equal to 1 microsecond. This would be the time consumed for one machine cycle in 8051 microcontroller of with the F oscillator is equal to 12 megahertz frequency. Now, the DJNZ instruction in 8051, always all the DJNZ instructions will consume two machine cycles. Therefore, the time consumed by DJNZ instruction is given by 12 into 2 machine cycle divided by F oscillator which is equal to say 12 megahertz therefore it would be equal to 2 microseconds. Now we will see a small sample delay program, a simple delay program here. The program is written as a subroutine and the name of this subroutine is say delay. Move R5 comma hash 10. Then djnz r5 comma label l1 label is pointing to the same instruction and after executing these two lines it has to return to the main program now here this move r5 instruction will be taking one machine cycle for its executions and this DJNZ instruction will be taking two machine cycle for each execution one DJNZ instruction will be taking two machine cycle and this DJNZ instruction will be executed R5 times in this delay program therefore the total machine cycles that are consumed by this DJNZ loop instruction is equal to 2 into R2. So these many machine cycles will be consumed here and return instruction will be consuming two machine cycles. Therefore the total number of machine cycles total number of machine cycles used in this program is equal to okay 1 plus 
टू इंटू टेन प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच वन प्लस टू इंटू टेन ट्वेंटी प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी थ्री मशीन साइकल्स देर फोर द टोटल डिले प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय दिस डिले प्रोग्राम इज इक्वल टू टोटल डिले प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय दिस डिले प्रोग्राम इज गिवन बाय अगेन द सेम फॉर्मूला ट्वेल्व इंटू द टोटल नंबर ऑफ मशीन साइकल्स इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय द एफ ऑसिलेटर एफ ऑसिलेटर इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व मेगा हर्ट्स देर फोर द टोटल amount of the time delay produced is equal to this is 23 microseconds this is how we can find the time delay produced in any delay program okay now our job is not just to find the time delay produced by any of these such programs now our job is to write a program to produce a particular time delay say for example i want to produce a time delay of say 100 microseconds okay i want to produce a time delay of 100 microseconds then how can i set the count okay how can i set the count in register r5 or r2 whatever it is any register to produce 100 microsecond delay say i'm using d j n z use uh, instruction one d j n z instruction consumes 2 microseconds or produces 2 microsecond delay okay it produces 2 microsecond delay therefore to produce 100 microseconds okay how can we find the count so the count required is equal to the required time delay divided by the time consumed by one dj nz instruction that is equal to 2 micro seconds okay therefore dividing these two we will get a merely number which is equal to 50 so this would be the count which has to be loaded okay loaded in register r5 to produce an approximate delay of 100 microsecond now using this data we will write the program to produce 100 microsecond delay again we will start the program here say delay then move r5 comma hash 50 it is the decimal 50 which is loaded as i have written nothing after this 50 by default it will be taking this value as the decimal value if it has to be the hexadecimal i have to write h and uh, for the easy of calculation now i am writing the decimal values anyhow in the assembler it will be converted into the hexadecimal and it will be calculating internally okay now d j n z r 5 comma label l1 and l1 is pointing to the same instruction and after executing this set of the loops it has to return now we will see this first instruction will be taking one machine cycle this second instruction d j n z loop will be taking dj and z will take two machine cycle and 
and it would be executed r2 times r2 in the sign uh, in the sense it is 50 times therefore 2 into 50 is equal to 100 machine cycles are utilized here then this return instruction will be consuming two machine cycles so the total machine cycles of this delay program is okay total machine cycles of delay program is equal to 1 plus 100 plus 2 it is equal to 103 machine cycles then when it is executed this will produce a time delay of okay the time delay produced is equal to 12 into number of machine cycles what are the number of machine cycles total number of machine cycle are equal to 103 divided by if the f oscillator is equal to 12 megahertz this would be the formula and this is equal to 103 microseconds this would be the time delay produced by this delay program and as we intended to produce 100 microsecond time delay and approximately we got 100 microsecond time delay by the loading of 50 into r5 value and the maximum value that we can load into any register any register is equal to the 255 because it is an 8 bit register it is 255 decimal and in the hexadecimal this r value the r maximum can be only f f h if we need the time delay say for example say for example if we need a time delay of 600 microseconds then the count is equal to count is equal to the required time delay 600 microsecond divided by the machine cycle consumed by one dj nz instruction which is equal to 2 microsecond this will give us the count then this count is equal to 600 divided by 2 is equal to 300 decimal okay 200 decimal which is greater than the limit of the 8 bit number 255 therefore we cannot make use of a single register in this case then we have to split this 300 decimal number into the factors of two register values say this 300 can be now written as the factor means multiplication of 10 and 30 like this 10 into 30 is equal to 300 now we will load 10 into one register say r4 will be equal to 10 and r5 will be loaded with 30 and having these two registers r4 and r5 used in the delay program we can generate the delay required delay of 600 microsecond like this now again we will start the delay program d e l a y move first the outer loop has to be loaded that is move r4 is equal to hash 10 it's a decimal value therefore i am writing it as 10 d then after that i am loading the second factor the factor of this r4 which is equal to move r5 which has to be equal to say 30 again it is a decimal value now after that i am decrementing djnz r5 to 0 
and checking if it is not equal to 0 then jump to again decrement the same means L1. When this job is over decrementing this R5 up to this 0 is over means by that time it will be iterating DJNZ instruction 30 times. Then after repeating this DJNZ loop L1 30 times it will be coming out and then again one more DJNZ I will be writing DJNZ R4 okay decrement this R4 till it becomes 0 if it is not 0 then jump back to L2 and this L2 label I will be writing here L2 then what this performs this L1 loop the inner loop will be executed 30 times and this inner loop is if this loop is excited it will be running for 30 times the DJNZR5 instructions and this loop L1 will be executed 10 times by the control DJNZR5 comma L2 therefore by the time it completes this it will be returning to the main program now we will see what are the machine cycles totally used in this uh, program this move instruction will be taking one machine cycle this DJNZ instruction will be taking this move instruction move R5 instruction will be taking another machine cycle this DJNZ R5 will be now this DJNZ R5 will be executing one set of DJNZ R5 will be executing how many times one, two machine cycle into 30 and this would be executed totally how many times 10 times therefore this would be the machine cycles totally executed using these two sets here that would be equal to approximately around 30 into 2 is 60 60 into 10 which is equal to 600 then return instruction it will be taking two machine cycles okay so the total machine cycles total approximate approximate total machine cycles are equal to 1 plus 1 plus 600 plus 2 which is equal to 604 machine cycles 604 machine cycles in the sense the time delay produced okay time delay produced is equal to 12 into the number of machine cycles in this program is equal to 604 divided by the f oscillator f oscillator is equal to say 12 megahertz so 12 into 10 to the power of 6 therefore the time delay produced by this sample delay program this sample delay program is equal to 604 microseconds okay this is how this would be uh, producing the required 600 microsecond time delay approximately and these are the steps to be followed to calculate the number of counts to be loaded in this delay program so learn well practice well okay if you are having any doubts you can ask in the next live session. Thank you. Happy learning.